the most sublime and transcendent episode in the entire history of the World Trade Center would come in the first dark and difficult years after its opening. While the city lay deep in the worst financial crisis of its history, and while the towers themselves, still unfinished on the uppermost floors, seemed to stand as a painfully extravagant monument to folly and misguided ambition. For six years following his epiphany in the dentist's office in Paris, Philippe Petit had nurtured his dream, painstakingly perfecting his skills as a high-wire artist and devouring everything he could find about the Twin Towers. In early January 1974, he flew to New York City for the first time in his life to put in motion the next elaborate phase of the illegal escapade he now called simply the coup. He was 24 years old. It started out as another routine morning for a New York helicopter traffic reporter, but he had more to tell his radio listeners than how the traffic was on the West Side Highway. I'll tell you what, I have a very queasy feeling in my stomach right now because I'm at, uh, let's see, 1,500 feet. And up here at 1,500 feet or in that area, there is somebody out there in a tightrope walk between the two towers of the World Trade Center right at the tippy top. That somebody was Philippe Petit, a 24-year-old Frenchman, doing his higher wire act 1,350 feet up and no net below. He and some associates managed to hide out in the World Trade Center towers overnight, and early this morning rigged a 140-foot steel cable between the two buildings using some sort of crossbow device. Petit enthralled hundreds of people below, prancing about for more than an hour. But police in the audience decided Petit was better off in a police station, handcuffed securely to a chair. Why did you do this? Um, that's the thousand uh, why in this morning. There is no why. It's just uh, because uh, um, when, when I see a beautiful place to put my why, I cannot resist. Sergeant Charles Daniels, who talked Petit off the high wire, called it a first-rate performance. He was bouncing up and down. His feet were actually leaving the wire, and then he would resettle back on the wire again. And then he would go down on one knee, and he'd balance the, uh, his uh, hand pole and lay down on his back and put his hands behind his neck and just completely relax and swing one of his legs over the wire in a carefree uh, manner. Was he laughing and smiling? Well, not when he would do that. He would just lay there and relax as if he wanted to just take a little nap. As spectacular sights go, how would you rate this one? Supreme. The apex of excitement. Petit was charged with disorderly conduct and criminal trespass and received a quick sentence, doing a free show for children in Central Park. Chris Kelly, CBS News, New York.
it at the time. Petit's extraordinary exploit marked a crucial turning point in the life of the Twin Towers and in the life of the beleaguered city that was their home. In the decades to come, the fortunes of both would undergo a remarkable transformation as the foundering city, all but written off in the darkest hours of the fiscal crisis, began to rise in new and unexpected ways. And as the World Trade Center itself, a hollow mockery when it opened in 1971, finally began to fulfill the grandiose promise of its name. 